Want to speak real Thai from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at thaipod101.com. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Top Words with me, Jay. Today, we are going to do the 10 lines you need for introducing yourself. Okay, let's begin. Chan ma ja pra te thai. I'm from Thailand. Chan ma ja pra te thai. I'm from Thailand. I'm Jay and I'm from Thailand, specifically from Bangkok. You can use this sentence to introduce yourself. Chan sanuk kap kan fang pleng. I enjoy listening to music. Chan sanuk kap kan fang pleng. I enjoy listening to music. What kind of genre do you like? Like for me, I love pop and acoustic. I know not many people love acoustic, like it's very niche, but I loved it. In Thailand, we have all types of genre. Like there are a lot of artists in Thailand. My favorite is called Stamp. Yes, it's the stamped on a letter, but that's the name of the artist, and he's very good. You should check that out. Chan Ayu Yisip Hok B. I'm 26 years old. Chan Ayu Yisip Hok B. I'm 26 years old. So Chan Ayu is. I am, and then you put your H in between, and then you end with B, which is years old. So, Chan Ayu Yisip Hok B, I'm 26 years old. In Thailand, girls prefer not to tell their age. I mean, if they are young, it's fine, but if they are a bit older, then they don't feel comfortable to say that. Chan Asai Yu Nai Krung Thep. I lived in Bangkok. Chan Asai Yu Nai Krung Thep. I live in Bangkok. Luckily, my place in Bangkok is in the metropolis area. So it's around the train station. So it's very convenient for me to travel around. But as you know, Bangkok is very huge. So if you live somewhere further away, then yeah, that's a problem for traveling around Bangkok and I used to have that problem before because when I was younger I lived quite far away from the heart of Bangkok. Chan Pen Crew I'm a teacher. Chan Pen Crew I'm a teacher. Chan Pen is I am and then followed by your occupation. For example, I am still a student, I would say Chan Pen Nakrian I am a student. Chan Dai Rian Pasa Thai Man Nung B. I've been learning Thai for a year. Chan Dai Rian Pasa Thai Man Nung B. I have been learning Thai for a year. Chan Dai Rian Pasa Thai Ma. I have been learning Thai for. And then if you have been learning Thai for um two years, three years, then you just put that at the end. Chu Hong Chan Ku J. My name is Jay. Shu Hong Shan Ku Jay. My name is Jay. This one is pretty easy, huh? Jay is actually my nickname, and I have my real name and my surname. But Thai people usually call each other by their nicknames. I mean, if you have a Thai friend, you would understand this because Thai names, a common Thai names are very long, so it's very difficult to remember. That's why we have nickname. Nung Nengan Adire Kong Shan Kukan An. One of my hobbies is reading. Nung Nengan Adire Kong Shan Kukan An. One of my hobbies is reading. I love drawing, I have my own blogs, and I love writing. So that's my hobby. So what is yours? Chanrian Pasat Hai Jak, Thai Pot Nung Sun Nung dot com. I'm learning Thai at Thai Pot One O One dot com. Chanrian Pasat Hai Jak, Thai Pot Nung Sun Nung dot com. I'm learning Thai at Thai Pot One O One dot com. I study other languages, for example, Japanese and English. This is a very useful website. Chan So, I'm single. Chan So. I'm single. This one is quite funny, but if you're close to the person, then yeah, you can use it. 
And that is the end of today's Thai words. If you have any question, please let us know. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. See you next time. Bye bye. Welcome to ThaiPod101.com. Learn Thai in three minutes. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Thai. สวัสดีค่ะดิฉันชื่อรวินพรค่ะ Hello, my name is Rowin Porn. I've just introduced myself in Thai. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Thai. It's super easy, and it takes only three minutes. First of all, we have สวัสดี Hello, สวัสดี Then, if you are male, just add ครับ And if you are female, just add ค่ะ at the end of the sentence to increase politeness level. ผมชื่อ your name ครับดิฉันชื่อ your name ค่ะ My name is. Let's break down this sentence. ผม and ดิฉัน means I. ผม can be used only by males. Why ดิฉัน can be used only by females? If you are male, you should say, ผม your name ครับ If you are female, ดิฉัน your name ค่ะชื่อ is a verb which means to name. For example, for me, สวัสดีค่ะดิฉันชื่อรวินพรค่ะ If you are male, for example, this guy, สุภชัยสวัสดีครับผมชื่อสุภชัยครับ Time to practice. Please repeat after me. Ladies first. สวัสดีค่ะดิฉันชื่อค่ะ Good job. Now it's the guy's turn. สวัสดีครับผมชื่อครับ Good job. Now it's time for Robin Pond's hint. Tada! You can shorten this sentence to your name, club, or ka. You can omit the subject pom or di chan in this sentence, and the level of the sentence is still formal enough for business situation. For example, สวัสดีค่ะรวินพรค่ะ Remember when meeting Thai for the first time. Always use formal language. See how easy it is to introduce yourself in Thai. In next lesson, we'll learn more about greeting and how to why. See you next time. From the previous lesson, you learn. สวัสดีค่ะดิฉันชื่อรวินพรค่ะ Hello, my name is Rowin Porn, and for males. สวัสดีครับผมชื่อสุภชัยครับ Hello, my name is สุภชัย In this lesson, you will learn how to greet and why in Thai. This is super easy, and you learn them all in three minutes. First, we have สวัสดีสวัสดี which is equivalent to hello, and you know what? สวัสดี can be used at any time of the day. If you are male, you say สวัสดีครับ and if you are female, สวัสดีค่ะ Yes, it is super easy. And now I'm going to explain what why is. Why is not only a gesture used to say hello, but also a sign of respect. Most cases, younger people do why to people who are older, higher in status, or to people you respect. There are three levels of why. Are you ready? The first, in order to why monks, priests, and royal family, pressing your palms together near your chest. Then lower your head and raise your hand until the thumb touch the middle between eyebrow, and bow at the same time. There you go. Next, how to why highly respected people, for example teachers or parents. How to do is pretty similar to the previous one. However, your thumb must touch your nose, and index fingers touch the middle between eyebrows, and bow at the same time.
Last but not least, how to why older people are people with the same level, the same as before, but the index fingers touch your nose. There you go. Now it's time for Robin Pond's hint. If someone gives you a why, it usually means that they pay respect toward you. To return their good manner, the receiver usually why back. What to do is just simply put your palm together in front of your chest, like this. I'm sure you are a master in Thai greetings now. See you next time. สวัสดีค่ะ Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Jay, and today we are going to do top 15 questions you should know. Okay, let's get started. คุณชอบอาหารไทยไหม Do you like Thai food? คุณชอบอาหารไทยไหม Do you like Thai food? <laughs> Normally, when people ask you this, you just answer them your favorite Thai food, like. I don't know, like for me, ต้มยำกุ้งคุณชื่ออะไร What's your name? คุณชื่ออะไร You will get this a lot when you meet someone for the first time. If you want to answer to that question, you may say, ฉันชื่อฉันชื่อ Meaning, my name is or I am, and followed by your name. So my name is Jay. I would say, ฉันชื่อเจ My name is Jay. คุณทำงานที่ไหน Where do you work? คุณทำงานที่ไหน Where do you work? You can answer by the country you are working in or the company. Yeah. คุณทำงานที่ไหน Where do you work? คุณพูดว่าอะไรนะ What did you just say? คุณพูดว่าอะไรนะ What did you just say? What did you just say? Or what did you say? I use it a lot actually because like. When someone say something too fast or speak too fast, and you can't quite get it what they are talking about or saying. You just ask them. คุณพูดว่าอะไรนะ What did you just say? คุณมาจากที่ไหน Where are you from? คุณมาจากที่ไหน Meaning, where are you from? Where do you come from? คุณมาจากที่ไหน If you are from the states, you have to say, ฉันมาจาก I'm from. America, America, or the states. If like I'm from Thailand, I would say, ฉันมาจากประเทศไทยฉันมาจากประเทศไทย I'm from Thailand. คุณสบายดีไหม How are you? คุณสบายดีไหม How are you? And if you want to say I'm fine, you say, ฉันสบายดีฉันสบายดี I'm fine. So if you notice, we have this word "sbaidi." Actually, literally, it means fine. So actually, how are you in Thai? k u n s b a i d i m a i meaning, are you fine? Literally, it means are you fine. But you no, know, in English, you won't ask people like are you fine. You ask like how are you? k u n s b a i d i m a i k u n a y u t h a r a i How old are you? k u n a y u t h a r a i How old are you? Some girls they are very concerned about their age, so you have to make sure that you are close to the person enough to ask this question. So, คุณอายุเท่าไร How old are you? But if they are comfortable to tell you how old are they, they will say, ฉันอายุ My age is or I am, and followed by their age. For example, I'm 18, which I'm not 18, but You know, <laughs> just for an example, if I were 18, I would say, ฉันอายุ18ปีฉันอายุ18ปี I am 18 years old. คุณอาศัยอยู่ที่ไหน Where do you live? คุณอาศัยอยู่ที่ไหน Where do you live? This sentence has two meanings. So, where do you live or where do you stay? You see, like in English, you have live and stay, like stay for short term, right? But in Thai, we just use the same sentence like คุณอาศัยอยู่ที่ไหน So, for example, if you travel to Bangkok or Thailand and you stay at a hotel, let's say, what, ABC Hotel, you would say ฉันอยู่ที่ ABC Hotel 
ฉันอยู่ที่ ABC Hotel อ๋อโฮเทลอินทายอิสโรงแรมโซฉันอาศัยอยู่ที่โรงแรม ABC or like for me I live in Bangkok I would answer my friend if they ask me this question ฉันอาศัยอยู่ที่กรุงเทพ I live in Bangkok คุณเคยไปเมืองไทยหรือเปล่า Have you been to Thailand คุณเคยไปเมืองไทยหรือเปล่า Have you ever been to Thailand If you want to ask the person and you are like the person is in Thailand already you won't ask them like have you gone to Thailand you would say have you ever come to Thailand so you have to change this sentence a bit from ไป to มา so you will say คุณคุณเคยมาเมืองไทยหรือเปล่าคุณเคยมาเมืองไทยหรือเปล่า but if right now you're not in Thailand like you're in other country but you want to ask the person if the person has ever gone to Thailand you ask them คุณเคยไปเมืองไทยหรือเปล่า can you notice the difference คุณเรียนภาษาไทยจากที่ไหน where did you learn Thai คุณเรียนภาษาไทยจากที่ไหน where did you learn Thai Where did you learn Thai? Of course, our website, right? Our channel. If you want to answer to this question, you want to say like, "Oh, I have been learning Thai by myself." You say, "ฉันเรียนภาษาไทยด้วยตัวเองฉันเรียนภาษาไทยด้วยตัวเอง I have been learning Thai by myself. คุณเรียนภาษาไทยมานานแค่ไหนแล้ว How long have you been studying Thai? คุณเรียนภาษาไทยมานานแค่ไหน How long have you been studying Thai? Like, how long have you been studying Thai? By the way, if you just started, it's okay. We are helping you right now. <laughs> like a year, you say one year, or like two years, you say two years. Like you just answer the period, like the time length that you have been studying Thai. นี่คืออะไร What is this? นี่คืออะไร What is this? นี่คืออะไร What's this? <laughs> What else to say? Like what's this? นี่คือมือถือของฉัน This is my mobile phone วันเกิดของคุณเมื่อไร When is your birthday วันเกิดของคุณเมื่อไร You know like เมื่อไร is like when maybe it's better to use วันเกิดของคุณเมื่อไร่วันเกิดของคุณเมื่อไร maybe this sound a bit better My s in December I don't know why I'm telling you <laughs> ห้องน้ำอยู่ที่ไหน Where is the bathroom ห้องน้ำอยู่ที่ไหน Where is the bathroom? One thing about Thailand is like we have bathrooms everywhere. Of course, like we have shopping mall, but we also have like small like shops, like local shops. Even though you don't buy things from them, but if you really need to, you ask them nicely. They will let you use their bathroom. If you want to use the bathroom, rather than like asking them where's the bathroom, you might. Ask them, ขอเข้าห้องน้ำหน่อยได้ไหมขอเข้าห้องน้ำหน่อยได้ไหม Meaning, can I use your toilet or can I use your bathroom? อันนี้เผ็ดไหม Is this spicy? อันนี้เผ็ดไหม Is this spicy? อันนี้เผ็ดไหม Or like จานนี้เผ็ดไหม Is this food spicy? Or in short, if you can't remember, you just ask เผ็ดไหม and point at the food. เผ็ดไหม spicy like that don't forget to raise your tone up because it's a question okay guys thank you for watching now you have already known how to ask question in Thai so please try to use them and practice them then you'll be good in no time but for today thank you for watching again and please don't forget to subscribe our channel see you next time bye bye hi everybody Jay here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Thai questions. The question for this lesson is, what are some basic question words in Thai? Learning to ask questions in Thai can be very beneficial for you. It will help you build up your language ability and can help in your everyday life in Thailand. Today. I'll teach you some very useful words for asking questions in Thai. Just like English language, in Thai we have different words for who, what, where, when, why, and how. If you are familiar with the English form, 
it will be very easy to learn this in Thai. There's only one minor difference in usage. These question words in Thai are Arai, what? Murai, when? Tinai, where? Tamai, why? Cry, who? Babnai, how? Yang Rai, how? And finally, Boy Kenai, how often? Grammatically, when asking questions in Thai, we put most of these words at the end of the sentence. There are two exception words. We put Arai and Tamai at the beginning of the sentence. For example, Tamai Ter Tung Wing Ton Chao. Why do you jog in the morning? Ter Pai Gap Krai. Who are you going with? We can see that in the first sentence, Tamai is used at the beginning of the sentence to ask question. However, in the second sentence, Ter Pai Gap Krai. Krai is used at the end to ask who. If we cut out the word cry in this sentence, we'll get Te Pai Gap. She goes with. This can be changed to a general sentence just by adding a name or noun at the end. For example, Te Pai Gap Som Kit. She goes with Som Kit. Thus, by adding cry, who, Thi Nai, where, or, Mua Rai, when, We'll change the sentence to a question. For example, Mung Gin Kao Thi Nai, Where are you eating? Kun Japai Mua Rai, When are you leaving? Pretty interesting, right? If you have any more questions, please leave a comment below. Bye bye. Swadi Ka. In this lesson, you are going to learn more about the Thai greeting. How are you? And how to answer this question? It's super easy, and it takes only three minutes. Please take a look at this short dialogue. Here is a typical dialogue you would hear every day in Thailand. สวัสดีค่ะสบายดีไหมคะสบายดีค่ะ Let's break down this dialogue together. Someone said to me, สวัสดี means hello. It can be used at any time of the day. สวัสดีสบายดีไหม How are you? สบายดีไหมสบายดี means fine. ไหม is a word that makes a sentence a question. Then the easy part, how to answer? I answer with สบายดี which means fine. Basically. You just drop my at the end, so this sentence becomes affirmative sentence. สบายดี Time for u n p o n s i n t a d a In case you want to answer something else besides "I'm fine," here you are. เรื่อยเรื่อย means so so or nothing much. ไม่สบาย means not so good. I'm sick. Remember, สบายดี means fine. When you add the prefix "my," which means no or not, this sentence becomes negative. These are informal phrases. Remember, if the speakers are male, just add k r a p and if you are female, add ka at the end. These phrases would become formal. Now, before you go, let's practice together one more time. I'm going to ask you a question. Please respond. สวัสดีค่ะสบายดีไหมคะกูจอบ Now it's your turn Please ask me how are you เรื่อยเรื่อยค่ะไม่สบายค่ะสบายดีครับ See you next time How are your Thai listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? ผู้ชายกับผู้หญิงกําลังคุยกันจะมีคนมางานเลี้ยงทั้งหมดกี่คนงานเลี้ยงจัดพรุ่งนี้นะ
จะมีใครมาบ้างคะมีเราสองคนมีเพื่อนของผมสองคนแล้วก็คุณครูงั้นก็เป็นห้าคนอ้อคุณครูจะมากับภรรยาโอเคค่ะจะมีคนมางานเลี้ยงทั้งหมดกี่คนผู้ชายกับผู้หญิงกำลังคุยกันจะมีคนมางานเลี้ยงทั้งหมดกี่คนงานเลี้ยงจัดพรุ่งนี้นะจะมีใครมาบ้างคะมีเราสองคนมีเพื่อนของผมสองคนแล้วก็คุณครูงั้นก็เป็นห้าคนอ้อคุณครูจะมากับภรรยาโอเคค่ะ Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Thank mm-hmm. you.